Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous, and I do mean over the top beautiful day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization deep in the Point Lonesome Swamp in the oasis of freedom on this glorious, I think it's St. Patrick's Day, that would be Thursday, March 17th, 2022. So, uh, I have to get back to devoting my entire life to trying to sell a pile of boards and uh, might have someone come driving up in the middle of this rant at which point I will uh, just have to end it there. So anyway, in the middle of all this, uh, trying to unload these this pile of lumber, uh, I was talking to this fellow yesterday. He uh, what he does, he builds these sheds, you know, these big ass sheds, carports, you know, these storage uh, industry in the U.S. So uh, we Americans who don't have enough room for all of our crap in our own houses have to move it out to the shed. And what he, as I was waiting for him, what he was taking was a call from the national distributor with the word going out that across the board, in one jump, just unannounced, every price in the country on these sheds to go up 10% effective immediately. 10% uh, so a $3,000 shed is now a $3,300 shed and I got talking to this guy about the supply chain issues that he has been dealing with and uh, is in the middle of dealing with. I honestly do not know if the guy was lying through his teeth to me or is crazy or what but this is the story he told me that he insists at least here in Florida he said one year ago, one year ago, the shipping cost for a container to get over here, I'm sure from China, uh, he didn't say where, I'm assuming from China, the shipping cost from China, when he said here, I don't know if he meant, uh, I'm assuming he probably meant the West Coast. Uh, but again, so anyway, whatever the shipping costs for a container from where to where, I don't know, assuming from China to LA was $700, $700 one year ago, today, the same, not for the cargo inside, not even touching the lumber inside, just the shipping cost $22,000, $22,000 for what was $700 one year ago. And of course, it's taking four times as long to get here. And so he was actually surprised, uh, particularly with now with the price of fuel, uh, that it was only a 10% price hike, but uh, I mean, good Lord, we, we don't have any idea uh, of, of where this inflation is going. And anyway, <clears throat> so I came home from that uh, sobering discussion with that man to find this article in Yahoo Finance about supply chains, complete chaos for the shipping industry amid Russia-Ukraine war and China corona panic lockdowns. Uh, the corona panic, you know, alive and well, I guess they just completely locked down one of the provinces over there, Sheen, with 24 million people on lockdown for the foreseeable future. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> take it away. Yahoo Finance and explain this to us. Fragile supply chains are facing a new headwind amid Russia's invasion of Ukraine and a new 
corona panic lockdown in one of China's manufacturing hubs, shipping giants including Switzerland-based MSC, Denmark's Maersk, and France's CMA announced this month that they would halt, halt all further cargo bookings to and from Russia until further notice, joining the growing list of companies to shun Moscow over its invasion of Ukraine. <clears throat> and on Tuesday, after Russia signed a law enabling domestic airlines to keep planes leased from foreign companies, Maersk announced that it is trying to retrieve tens of thousands of shipping containers from the country. This is Maersk CEO Soren Scal quote, we have about 50,000 of our containers in Russia today. Most of them are empty. They are our property. We need them and we are very reluctant to leave them in Russia. Yes, do you think so? At the same time, Russian-owned and Russian-managed ships are currently unable to get into ports in the UK, Canada, and the EU, while more than 100 cargo ships and their crews are stranded at Ukrainian ports since Russia's invasion. Uh, this is Elizabeth Brawl, a senior fellow at the American Enterprise Institute. <clears throat> Quote, all of that is happening and it is leaving all of these vessels traveling around the world with cargo already on board, with crew already on board, leaving them in complete no man's land. Where are they supposed to go with their cargo? They can't deliver it. They can't pick up new cargo. And of course, Ukraine's ports are already closed and a number of ships are stuck there. I wouldn't want to compare it with the absolute tragedy that is facing the people of Ukraine, but nevertheless, complete chaos for the shipping industry, close quote. <clears throat> And as this guy I was talking to was mentioning, overall ocean dwell times, ocean dwell time is defined as the time it takes to secure the shipping vessel, discharge or load the cargo increased in recent weeks, export dwell times across all European ports increased by 36%. Uh, since February 17th, uh, one month ago, while transshipment dwell times for European ports is up 41% according to real-time supply chain visit visibility platform for kites. Furthermore, new corona panics, lockdowns in various provinces across China means that, quote, the supply chain must prepare for another turmoil in the coming months, impeding the flow of container movement as importers worldwide perfect prepare for the coming peak season later this year, close quote. That was Container X Chang a global logistics company. Uh, <clears throat> Companies and economies around the world are reeling because of the effects of these supply chain disruptions. You know, and this is just beginning. Said Bra, quote, if we think about what global shipping does for the global economy, the globalized economy is unthinkable without shipping. Shipping accounts for 90% of trade that is being sent between different parts of the world. If shipping cannot continue as it has been working until now, 
then we will see a reduction in economic activity, close quote. Carriers like KLM and United Parcel Service are filling their planes with pricier fuel for longer Asian routes to avoid Russia due to airspace closures. Meanwhile, jet fuel prices have skyrocketed by more than 35% just in the past month and 75% in the last 12 months, which in turn is putting a squeeze on airlines. Those higher transportation costs are likely to get passed along to consumers as it gets pricier to ship everything from manufacturing to perishables like imported cheese and fruit, said Brawl, quote, there is no industry more transnational than shipping because it physically crosses borders, maritime borders, every single day of the year, close quote. Recent data shows that overall Russian import volumes for last week were down 40% from the week before. That decrease has been felt across industries with manufacturing, chemical, oil, and gas down by 33%, retail down 35%, and consumer packaged goods, food and beverages down 57% over the same period. The International Chamber of Shipping, which represents 80% of the world's merchant fleet, <clears throat> warned last week that current supply chain disruptions are set to be worsened by a shortfall in shipping crew due to the war. And then there's the actual manpower. Ukraine and Russian seafarers account for 14.5% of the global shipping workforce, according to the chamber, uh, quoting their report, to maintain trade levels, these seafarers must be able to join and disembark ships, crew change freely across the world. However, flights have been canceled to and from the region, making this increasingly difficult. Fears over crew safety and increasing insurance premiums, yeah, to send ships to Ukraine or Russia have also discouraged ship owners from sending vessels to those countries. Industry has reported that some crews have abandoned their ships in Ukraine due to security worries. And, uh, that's exactly what I would be doing. So anyway, uh, what I am doing, ironically enough, is trying to take advantage of all of this. I have the most gorgeous pile of lumber in the state of Florida. Uh, I started out at $10,000. Uh, I reduced the price yesterday to $7,500. I will take the first offer for $5,000. And in the middle of all of this, with everybody freaking out, uh, uh, about the exploding price of lumber and all of these other building materials. And I am sitting right here w w with ads on Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, the local newspaper, uh, and having zero interest in, uh, in, 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 in what, I am, what I have to sell for half the price of Lowe's. And, uh, you know, I just, uh, I, I just don't get it. Uh, apparently, uh, people aren't reading the news. Uh, <clears throat> but anyway, they say it's a seller's market for building materials. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> that's a sick joke, being invaded by these stinging caterpillars. Anyway, I got to wrap this up.
because I would like to think I have someone coming up the road here shortly to look at a pile of boards in the middle of a global shipping crisis. <laughs> Get out there and uh, buy your own pile of boards while you still can. Bye, guys.